Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with laserengravingbusiness.com. One question I get asked quite often is where do I get my my wood from the uh, from my videos and stuff and uh, and a lot of people try to figure out where to get the uh, pure bond wood from Home Depot and so I just wanted to make a quick video that shows you guys the quickest way to find a pure bond plywood on the Home Depot website so you can order it and get it shipped to your house um, it has let's just look it up real quick so if you just type in Glowforge actually on homedepot.com it will pop up this quarter inch pure bond maple panel and so this stuff works really really well in the glow forge in my experience i think i normally cut it on full power at 140 speed and the top part is the uh, top and bottom is the has the maple uh, veneer type of stuff on top and then in the inside it's almost like a uh, a foamy type of um, material that cuts really well in the glow forge so let's let's read it here so it's bonded with food grade soy base adhesive that does not emit toxic air contaminants it's uh like I was talking about earlier a decorative top veneer measuring approximately 1 and 42 inch thick and um, normally as it says here I do not have a lot of issues with uh with warping which is really nice and so if you scroll further down you may be able to find um, different types. So this one is hickory. This one's walnut. And so this one's 532 inches, which is, um, if I'm not mistaken, pretty close to the eighth inch. So typically when I make an order, I would buy a box of the eighth inch and or the 532 and the box of the quarter inch and sometimes I will buy a pure bond I mean a uh, walnut or a hickory and uh, I'll just keep these on hand in case I have a project that requires it but most of my stuff I just make with the with the maple and um, it's comes out really really nice whenever you want to um, engrave on it paint it stain it it creates a really nice finish and um, and a lot of people have a lot of success with this whenever they're printing out um, photos and stuff so whenever you engrave a photo this is a really good one to use and by the way I'm not sponsored in any way I do not make any money off of um, trying to show you guys this wood is purely just me trying to help you out so you can also scroll further down and there are even more selections but you just want to make sure it is the pure bond material you want to make sure that um, you want to pay attention to the length and height so um, this one's uh, 12 inches basically by um, 19 inches so so one foot seven inches so this is the one that will pit that will fit perfectly in your glow forge so let's scroll further down this one will fit two one by one foot seven all of those would fit and I think you get 10 to a pack um, it's 43 46 for this one 
the hickory is a little more expensive. The walnut's even more expensive. And um, it's not the cheapest option. You know, you can always buy the Baltic birch plywood for a lot cheaper at your your lo local lumber yard, cut it yourself, or buy it from a vendor. But you always, in my experience anyway, you run into the risk of running into a glue packet pocket and it doesn't cut all the way through or um, it's just a lot of consist inconsistencies with the Baltic Birch. With the Pure Bond, I find I hardly ever run into many issues. I think out of, shoot, I don't even know how many of these bores that I've used, but out of probably the hundreds of bores that I've used of the Pure Bond, I may have only had a handful of of bad boards um, so it's pretty consistent works really well and you can check out some of my other videos um, that show what kind of things I make and this is pretty cool <coughs> customer images so this is stuff that people have made with this in their Glowforge Never paid attention to this before, but um, so you guys can come check it out. A lot of people have a lot of reviews on it, <coughs> and like I said, easiest way: go to the search bar, type in Glowforge, and this one pops up. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you guys have learned something from this. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.